I'm Kai from Cobalt Colts. Hi, I'm Ivy from Cobalt Colts. This is our little airplane shooter that we have made in two hours. Um, so it just has two wheels which use friction and they go in opposition of each other to shoot an airplane through. We have a uh, go build a motor. Um, we have two go build a wheels and uh, I found this airplane book and I used it. I made that one, but I had to change the front a little bit so it can actually fit through the wheels and fly. Uh, for the future, we do want to make these wheels a little bit further apart or fit smaller wheels because it's a little tight. Hi, I'm Elle with the Cobalt Colts, and this sprint I was um, trying to make this uh, Serum's lift go up and down. Um, and in order to do that, I had to connect another motor. And since I'm already using four for the control hub, I added an expansion hub um, with the RS-485 uh, cable and um, power. And in the process, I broke the grounding strap. So I kind of had to fix that in a makeshift way. Uh, and then I add a tele up to make it go up and down. Hey, I'm Sion from the Cobalt Colts, and over the last two sprints, I was working on a mechanism that can let us hang. The last spin, I was able to get this lead screw working, which would hang just fine. So the problem is, we needed the whole mechanism to be under this pole, which is like 14 and a half inches. inches. First, we thought of making this claw driven on a servo so we can store it until the end game where we can put it on and then we can hack. However, we want to find a way that we don't have to use another um, uh, a servo, so a basically a passive way of doing this. And we landed upon this um, makeshift way, which is basically um, surgical tubing acting as a spring, counter spring. And it's uh, hinged over here and here. So basically right now, the hook just wants to go up like now. But this little um, makeshift um, ball is preventing it from doing that until we move the lead screw high enough. So here's a de demo of it. So if the lead screw goes up, then we can push it on the hook, then I can hang a snap hole. And it still works, that's fine. So this is basically the other clock that's um, now with this. And we're gonna try to find this a bit more, but we are proud that it's able to go under the ball. Hi, I'm Derek from the Cobalt Colts. In this sprint, I wanted to work on an intake that grabbed from inside the pixels. So I used these two little gears from last year's claw and just some really long screws that just go inside the pixels, expand out, and then can pick them up and pick up just one, score them on the backdrop. Uh, hi, my name is Ak from the Cobalt Colts. Um, this is our plane thrower version three. Um, it's powered by this 6,000 RPM Go Build a motor, um, which makes this wheel turn and also makes this wheel turn because of friction. Uh, and these two are combined wheels. Hi, my name is Bridget from the Cobalt Colts, and today my goal was to shrink this um, linear slide so that it fit within the 18 and get the basis started for a worm gear that will allow us to move this and adjust the angle so we can place the pixels on the wall. Um, I worked a little bit to raise this up so Derek can attach his claw to go down and grab the uh, pixels easily and grab two at once.